Hi students, let's see class 10 trigonometry unit 8. Of course, the chapter name is introduction to trigonometry and we know that trigonometry is a branch of mathematics and the word trigonometry is taken from three Greek words tri, gone, metron. Tri means three, gone means sides, metron means measurement. Ready? Now, we know that now trigonometry is the study of relationship between the sides and the angles of a triangle. So, trigonometry is the relationship between sides and angles of a triangle. Ready? And we will be wondering actually why we are studying this trigonometry? What are the use of it? Let's see that. Actually, without actual measurement, if you want to find out the height of a mountain or maybe the height of an aeroplane or the width of a river, this is all we can find out with the help of trigonometry. We told trigonometry is the relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle. Let's see now triangles, sides and angles. See here. In this triangle ABC, we know that this angle B is 90 degree. If you get angle B 90 degree means one of the angle is 90 degree, that triangle is called, yes, right angle triangle. Ready? Now, side opposite to angle 90. Side opposite to angle 90 is what? That is called the hypotenuse. The longest side of a right angle triangle is called hypotenuse. See, I am considering the angle A. If I take angle A, it is nearby, side adjacent to angle A. Got it? A, B. Ready? So, if you take angle A, side adjacent to angle A, what is that name? That is A, B. And if you want, you can call it as base, other ways, adjacent side. See, any one of this name you can keep. One is the, the side adjacent to angle A. If you want, you can call it as base. Otherwise, adjacent side. Now, it's opposite. Side opposite to angle A. What is that? BC. The side BC. And of course, BC, if you want, you can call it as perpendicular. Perpendicular. Other ways, opposite side. Opposite side. Ready? See, we are considering angle A. If you consider angle A, side adjacent to angle A, that is called AB. And this AB, if you want, you can call it as base or adjacent side. It's opposite. Opposite side. Opposite side is, what is the name of the opposite side? BC. And this BC, you can call it as perpendicular, otherwise opposite side. Now, we consider angle A. Let's see now, if you consider angle C, we know that triangle ABC, one of the angle is 90 degree, that means it is a right angle triangle. And of course, the longer side, opposite to angle B, that means opposite to 90 degree. We call it as hypotenuse. Now I am considering angle C. Angle C is what? Here. Ready? And if you take angle C, nearby adjacent side, where it will be? Now here we can understand if you take angle A, the adjacent is AB. Now angle C if you take adjacent to this, of course we know that AC is here. But we already call it as hypotenuse. Then BC is the adjacent to angle C. And this one, if you want, we can call it as base, other ways, adjacent side. Ready? Next one. Opposite to angle C. Opposite to angle C is what? AB. The side AB. So, the AB, side AB, we call it as side opposite to angle C. Side opposite to angle C, we call it as perpendicular. Otherwise, what is the name? Opposite side. 
ready according to the selection of the angle the perpendicular and the base will be changing perpendicular and base perpendicular means what perpendicular means opposite side base means adjacent side ready it's up to you if you want you can call it as base and base otherwise adjacent side and perpendicular if you want you can call it as opposite side ready let's see now trigonometric ratios there are six trigonometric ratios first one sine of angle a sine of angle a if you want you can call it as sine a ready if you write sine a it is side opposite to angle a divided by hypotenuse let's see in this triangle abc of course one of the angle is 90 degree that means this is a right angle triangle and we know that the longer side that's called ac this is the hypotenuse side adjacent to angle a that means what ab ab is called base otherwise adjacent side side nearby means adjacent to angle a we call it as base or adjacent side and side opposite to angle a that is called opposite side otherwise what is the name that is called perpendicular perpendicular we got it the three sides now now let's see sine of angle a we call it as sine a that is side opposite to angle a divided by hypotenuse if you want you can write this as opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side by hypotenuse otherwise we call it as perpendicular by hypotenuse what is that perpendicular by hypotenuse and according to this diagram perpendicular is bc and the hypotenuse is ac is it okay so we are getting now sin a equals opposite side by hypotenuse otherwise perpendicular by hypotenuse p by h ready next one second trigonometric ratio we call it as cosine of angle a what is that cosine of angle a that is we short we call it as cosine ready cosine of angle a we call it as cosine equals what side adjacent to angle a side adjacent to angle a side adjacent to angle a is what adjacent side yes that is called adjacent side divided by hypotenuse otherwise adjacent side we can call it as base by base by hypotenuse of course in this diagram base is ab divided by yeah hypotenuse is what sc i'll tell one more time cosine of angle a we call it as cos a cos a equals what will say adjacent side by hypotenuse otherwise adjacent side means base base by hypotenuse according to this diagram base is ab and the hypotenuse is yeah yes see now the next one tangent of angle a the third one tangent of angle a we call it as tan a tangent of angle a we call it as tan a tan a equals side opposite to angle a divided by side adjacent to angle a side opposite to angle a means what is the name yes if you want opposite side otherwise perpendicular by base side adjacent to angle a that means adjacent side yes that is called base so we got it p by b equals perpendicular is what perpendicular or opposite side is c opposite side is what means bc bc by base ab see now the next one cosecant of angle a cosecant of angle a is the inverse of sin cosecant is the inverse of sin ready so cosecant of angle a means short what you will say cosecant cosecant of angle a we will say cosecant equals hypotenuse divided by side opposite to angle a 
hypotenuse short form you can write h by side opposite angle side opposite angle may means what side opposite angle is perpendicular see we got it sine now perpendicular by hypotenuse cosec we are getting hypotenuse by perpendicular see perpendicular by hypotenuse here we got it what hypotenuse by perpendicular that is what actually sin is the inverse of cosec ready the next one see cosine its inverse we are going to get secant secant of angle a secant of angle a means what is the short sec a secant of angle a we call it as sec a sec a equals hypotenuse by side adjacent to angle a side adjacent to angle a is what yes yeah, side adjacent to angle a means base so we are getting downside base and upside hypotenuse so we got it now ck is hypotenuse by base it is just reverse of cos a we can see cos is base by hypotenuse and ck we got it hypotenuse by base see the last one cotangent cotangent of angle a means cot a ready short of cotangent of angle a we call it as cot a cot a is the side adjacent to angle a divided by side opposite to angle a of course this is also same way it is the inverse of tan what is that tan a what is that perpendicular by base so here what you will get perpendicular by base means here we should get base by perpendicular ready let's see now uh, cosec according to this diagram hypotenuse what is the name of hypotenuse sc by perpendicular yes bc here again hypotenuse is ac by base ab and the last cot what we got base by perpendicular according to this diagram base is ab by perpendicular bc ready now we have to be careful we told already uh, one very important thing we have to keep in mind perpendicular you can call it as opposite side base you can call it as adjacent side and always hypotenuse will be hypotenuse the longest side of a right angle triangle is called hypotenuse that will not be changing but careful opposite side if you want you can call it as perpendicular and base you can call it as adjacent side let's see now one short form like a trick you can keep it some people have curly brown hair turn purple black some people have curly brown hair turn purple black see some people have i am keeping the form some people have yeah some people have some some s yes. people have i am just keeping p by h some people have some people have ready that means s equal s means sin sin equals perpendicular by hypotenuse ready so some people have next one is what balance you check it curly brown hair that means curly brown hair c equals curly brown hair ready c equals base by hypotenuse ready that means c equals base by hypotenuse how, how you got curly brown hair curly brown hair see curly brown hair that means cos equals base by hypotenuse cos equals base by hypotenuse the last part turn purple black turn purple black means we'll write t equals purple black see turn purple black means what tan equals perpendicular by base how it is turn purple black that means t equals p by b p means perpendicular b means base is it okay now very simple if you want to find out the value of cosec c can cot only this much what is that we got now sin equals perpendicular by hypotenuse cos equals base by hypotenuse 
tan equal perpendicular by base. Ready? So let's see now. Cosec, sec, and cot. Cosec is the inverse of cosec is the inverse of sine. Inverse of sine means what? Perpendicular by hypotenuse will write hypotenuse by perpendicular. I hope you can understand. Yes. Now, sec is the inverse of cos. Cos we have base by hypotenuse. So sec equals what you will do? Yes, hypotenuse by base. And now cot is the inverse of tan. Tan we got it perpendicular by base. That means cot equals base by perpendicular. Ready? So now we have to be careful. Adjacent side. Side is the base. And opposite side. Opposite side is the perpendicular. This always keep in heart. Adjacent side is the base. But opposite side is the perpendicular. Opposite side is the perpendicular. Now let's see. We got it now. First one. Sine. I am just keeping A. Of course I have to tell now. This symbol. What is this? Some cases in trigonometry. In place of angle. We will be using theta. Ready? This is called theta. Ready? So I am writing sin theta equals sin theta equals perpendicular by hypotenuse. Okay. Next one. Second. Cos theta equals base by hypotenuse. Third one. Tan theta theta. See how I am reading? Theta. Tan theta equals perpendicular by base. Ready? I'm just keeping the fourth one here because sine inverse is cosec. So cosec theta equals what you write? Yes, hypotenuse by perpendicular five. Sec theta. Sec theta is the inverse of cos. That means base by hypotenuse means what you write? Hypotenuse by base. Ready? Next one. Tan. Of course, we need the sixth one that is cot. Cot theta is the inverse of tan. Cot theta is the inverse of tan. Means what you will write? Perpendicular by base will write base by perpendicular. Ready? Let's see the next. Now, after that, I am just writing 7. We know that sin is the inverse of cosec. That means we can write sin equals 1 by cosec. Sin equal 1 by cosec theta. Next one. So, if I want cosec theta, we'll write now. Yes, 1 by sin. We wrote sin equal 1 by cosec. So, cosec equal 1 by sin. Ready? Next one. Cos. Cos theta equals 1 by? Yes, sec. Ready? That means sec equals sec equals sec theta equals 1 by cos theta sec theta equals 1 by cos theta 11 we can write tan theta equals 1 by cot 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 theta so if you want cot theta we will write 1 by tan theta two more we will keep one is of course 12 we got. 13 I am writing here. Tan theta equals sin theta by cos theta. 14. Cot theta equals cos by sin. Cos theta by sin theta. Careful. You need to buy till this 14. And if you are not by hurting, you can't continue the balance. Few points you have to keep in mind. One is sine sine is the abbreviation of sine of angle ready sine means sine of angle it's not like sine and a multiplying very careful 
sin into a will not get sin a. Ready? That means sin a is the abbreviation of sin of angle a. Ready? If you keep separate sin, no value. Got it? No meaning. Ready? That means sin a is the symbol of sin of angle a. Ready? That means sin into a will be different. Is it okay? Next one. If I am writing sin a the whole square, you can write sin square a. This is okay. What is that? Sin a the whole square equals sin square a. Same way if you want you can write cos a the whole square equals cos square a. But careful sin a whole raised to minus 1. It will not be equal to sin inverse a is wrong. See sin a the whole raised to minus 1 or inverse is not equal to sin inverse a. Is it okay? This you please keep in mind. More coin. The value sin a or cos a always below 1 or maximum equal to 1. The value of sin and cos always below 1 otherwise equal to 1. Ready? Let's see exercise 8.1. Choose the correct option. Question number 1. If cot A equals 12 by 5 then the value of sin A plus cos A into cos K is. The options are given. I am not reading the options. Let's see. While getting this type of questions let's make first the triangle. Ready? And we know that here is given. What is given? Yes, given cot A equals 12 by 5. 12 by 5. Ready? 12 by 5 means, and we should know that what is cot? Cot theta or cot. Cot is the inverse of? Yes. What is that? Tan. That means what you will write? Base by perpendicular equals 12 by 5. Ready? That means according to this diagram, we know that the longest side is always hypotenuse. Now, it's nearby, adjacent side. Because of angle A, side adjacent to angle A. That is called base. Ready? Side opposite to angle A. That is called the perpendicular. Ready? Now, side opposite to angle A. Perpendicular. That means according to this, this implies, what is base? AB. That means AB by perpendicular BC. BC equals 12 by 5. So, we got the ratio now, isn't it? That implies, if you want then, AB equals 12K. K is a constant, positive constant. And after that, we are taking BC equals, see, AB 12, BC 5. So, AB equal 12K and BC equal 5K. So, we are putting here, AB is 12K and BC is 5K. Let's see what you want to do now. Sin A plus cos A into cos K. Sin A plus cos A into cos A equals. Let's see. What is sin? Sin is perpendicular by hypotenuse. According to this diagram, what is perpendicular? BC. Hypotenuse? SC. Is it okay? So we got it sign now. Next one, cos. Cos A means, cos means base by hypotenuse what is base according to this diagram base is ab ab by hypotenuse yes and the last one cosec cosec equals inverse of yeah sign that means hypotenuse by perpendicular what is hypotenuse here sc sc by perpendicular bc okay now let's put that value here that means sin A plus cos A. Sin A means BC by AC plus cos AB by AC. Closing the bracket. Cosic. Cosic is what? 
AC by BC equals. Now, see this too. What you will do here? See, the denominators are same. If the denominators are same, we will take LCM as denominator. What is that? AC. Ready? Then the numerator, what you will do? Same denominator means, numerator same we will keep. That, that means what you will do? BC plus AB. Closing the bracket. After this, AC by BC. See, what you will do? AC, AC will cancel. Ready? AC, AC will cancel. After that, I am just rubbing little bit. Now, balance we got it. BC plus AB by BC equals BC. What is the value of BC? 5K. So, 5K plus AB, 12K. Divided by BC, 5K. Equals, see, 5K plus 12K. 5K plus 12K means 5 mango plus 12 mango. Ready? 5 plus 12. That means 17K divided by 5K. We will cancel KK. We will be getting 17 by 5. So, please see that option. Third will be the right option. So, of course, actually, if you want, you can use Pythagoras theorem. After that, you can find out the hypotenuse. So, we are going to get actually uh, 13. But no need that one because it is choose the correct. So, without Pythagoras theorem, because the hypotenuse we can cancel here. So, we can apply this method. Ready? See the question. 2. If sin theta equals x and sec theta equals y, then the value of cot theta is, we want to find out the value of cot theta. So, sin and sec is given. Of course, uh, without diagram, we can do it this one now. Let us see. And we should know the equations. First one, what is sec theta? Sec theta equals 1 by cos theta. One more equation we need. 1, 2. Second one is cot theta equals cos theta by sin theta. See, to do this problem, we need to get two equations. What is that? Sig theta equal 1 by cos theta, cot theta equal cos by sin. See, what is already given? Given sig theta equals y. But we know that sig theta is 1 by cos. Y. Next step, 1 by cos theta equals y means you can write y by 1. Any number if you want, see like I am writing 7. 7 you can write 7 by 1. If I write 5, 5 we can write 5 by 1. Any number there is a hidden denominator 1. That means we are writing here y by 1. Now let us cross multiply. Ready? That means what you write? Y cos theta into y equals 1 into 1. 1. Therefore, cos theta equals, 1 is already here, I am taking the y to next side, see y is multiplying here, the multiplication goes next side, divide, multiplication goes next side, divide, that means 1 by y, we got it now cos theta equals 1 by y, ready, now what you will do, ok, I need to rub it, ready, ok, raise I will write here. Now, cos theta equal 1 by y. Now, next one, we want to find out cot theta, isn't it? So, let us write now. Cot theta equals, what is the equation? Cot theta equals cos theta by sin theta. But we got the value of cos. What is the value of cos? 1 by y. So, 1 by y divided by the value of sin is already given. Yes, x. Ready? Next step equals 1 by y divided by x. You know that before I told already, 5 means 5 by 1. 7 means 7 by 1. That means x you can write x by 1 equals. Now next step, 1 by y into. Ready? 1 by y into. See the division. 
divide division if i convert into multiplication x by 1 i have to write 1 by x means what inverse of this see division if i convert into multiplication x by 1 i will write 1 by x what we done division convert into multiplication inverse will write this equals 1 into 1 1 x into y or y into x x y see let's see the option now that means the third will be the right option let's see the next question third one in triangle abc right angle at b angle right angle at b ab equal 5 centimeter so i'm writing here ab is given already ab 5 centimeter and again and sin c sin c is 1 by 2 the length of ac will be so ac we need to find out but they given sin c sin c means sine of angle c so angle c related ready sine of angle c means c angle connected with the angle c so here what will be the nearby adjacent yes bc will be the adjacent side that means this will be the adjacent side otherwise we call it as base ready adjacent side or base and ab will be the opposite side that means opposite side that is called perpendicular ready now what we got it actually base and perpendicular we got it now sin c is already given that means we'll write given sin c equals 1 by 2 but we know that sin is what is the equation sin c sin sin theta is sin theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse according to this diagram what is the perpendicular yes a b divided by hypotenuse s c ready see now what is already given sin c equals 1 by 2 sin c means a b by s c that means a b by s c equals 1 by 2 but a b what is a b the value of a b is 5 so 5 by a c equals 1 by 2 let's cross multiply this way ready cross multiplying so we want a c so we'll write a c into 1 a c into 1 is a c equal 5 into 2 equal 5 to the 10 of course it is in centimeter so the answer is in centimeter 10 centimeter so your right option is one see the next question question number four i'll read the question once in the given figure ad equals four centimeter bd equal three centimeter and cb equal 12 centimeter then find the value of cot theta ready so let's see now what is given ad so ad is given 4 centimeter and bd is given bd is given 3 centimeter and cb cb is given 12 centimeter now what do you want to find out then cot theta so we want to find out cot theta cot theta means yes cot theta is let's write that first here cot theta equals base by perpendicular ready according to this diagram i'm taking this triangle if i take this triangle base will be this one bc and perpendicular will be ab that means we want to find out the value of ab to find out the value of ab let's first consider in triangle what is the triangle abd in triangle abd ready in triangle abd what is already given there let's see ad is given what is the value of ad 4 centimeter in triangle abd and bd is given what is that bd equals 3 centimeter now we want to find out ab according to this diagram bd is the longest side mean hypotenuse so we will follow now pythagoras theorem let's write pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem. What is Pythagoras theorem? 
Pythagoras theorem is the ratio between three sides of a triangle. The longer side square equals sum of the other two sides square. That means what you will write here? AB square, that is the longer side, hypotenuse. AB square equals AD square plus BD square. Because in this triangle, the longer side is AB and the other two sides AD and BD. Ready? Let's put the value here. So AD square, what is the value of AD? 4 square plus BD, that is 3 square. Equal 4 square is 16 plus square of 3, 3 3 is a 9. So let's add it now. 16 plus 9, yes, 25. We got it now, 25. That is AB square equals 25. So if you want AB, AB equals square root of 25. What have you done? Square goes to next side, square root of 25. How to find out square root? 25. One is those nodes that you can take 5 5 are 25. Other ways you have to do like this. 25 prime factorization. 5 5 are 25. Ready? That means square root means out of two numbers, one. See, there are two numbers, one will take outside. That means we got it 5. 5 means, of course, we can write as 5 centimeter. 5 centimeter, you got it now, AB. Ready? Now, 5 centimeter. Now, what do you want actually? We want to find out the value of cot theta. Ready? Cot theta means, I think I need to rub it. Okay? So I'm going to write the balance. Ready? Let's consider the next triangle. What is the next triangle? In triangle ABC. ABC. We will take what do you want to find out? Cot theta. Cot theta equals. We know that the theta is base by perpendicular. Base by perpendicular. According to this triangle, its side adjacent to angle theta. This is the base. What is that? BC is the base. And this will be the perpendicular side opposite to angle theta. That means AB will be the perpendicular. Is it okay? That means what you will write? Base means BC by perpendicular is what? Yes, AB. Equals BC. We got it already? 12. 12 by a, B, 5. So, your right option is 12 by 5, that is 4. Let's see the next question. B1, in triangle ABC, right angle at B, AB equal 24 centimeter, BC equal 7 centimeter, determine 1, sin A cos A, and of course the second one, sin C cos C. Let's see now. Be careful actually here. First, we know that in a triangle, the longest side, in a right hand triangle, the longest side is called hypotenuse. And of course, it is not given. But of course, AB is given 24 and the BC is given 7. Let's find out the hypotenuse. What method will use? Pythagoras theorem. Ready? So, by Pythagoras theorem, theorem, Longest side square that means AC square equals see AC square equals AB square plus BC square. Put the value AB is 24. So 24 square plus BC 7. 7 square. So 24 square. Let's find out 24 square. So we'll be taking 24 into 24. 4 4 is 16, 1, 4 2 is 8 plus 1, 9, 4 2 is 8, 2 2 is 4. We are getting 6, adding now, plus 9 plus 8, 17, 1 in hand, so we are getting now 5. Ready? So, 5 76 plus 7 square, 7 7 is yes, 49. 
added this to when you add it how much you will get 625 isn't it okay let's add it this 576 plus 49 add it now 6 plus 9 15 1 in hand 7 plus 4 11 plus 1 2 1 in hand 1 plus 5 6 so we got it 625 that is AC square therefore if you want to find out AC we have to take the square root square root of 625 actually you are going to get the answer 25 anyway I'll do this square root of 625 625 by 5 will do 5 ones are 5 balance is 1 1 means 12 12 means 5 twos are 10 that means 2 will be writing now the balance is 2 because 10 we took so the balance is 2 25 mean 5 fives are now by 5 5 twos are 10 balance 2 2 means 25 5 fives are again by 5 5 fives are we know that square root means out of two numbers we will take one outside again by two we will take one outside that means five into five see five into five five fives are 25 so the answer is ac is 25 you got it now 25 centimeter ready now let's say now sine a let's say now sine a Sine A means what you'll do? Yeah. Side. <laughs> Let's find out now sine A. So, sine A equals perpendicular by hypotenuse so perpendicular by hypotenuse means perpendicular perpendicular is what yes and side opposite to angle a. side opposite to angle a is what 7 because we are considering angle a so because of angle a the perpendicular is bc got it that means bc divided by we know that hypotenuse will be always same that is what sc so AC equals BC. What is the value of BC? 7 centimeter. 7 divided by. Now the next one AC. What is the value of AC? Yeah, we got it. 25. See now cos A. So cos A equals. What is cos theta? Yes. Base by hypotenuse. What is base according to angle A? Yes. For angle A, base will be this one side adjacent to angle a ready that means a b so we got it a b divided by hypotenuse will be always same that means yes c equals what is a b the value of a b yes we got it 24 divided by yes c 25 let's see the next part this time we want sine c to find out sin c, let's take angle c. If you take angle c, it's perpendicular. Otherwise, side opposite to angle c. Side opposite to angle c, what is that? Yes, ab. This is called perpendicular. And for angle c, what will be the base? Yes, side adjacent to angle c. That means bc will be the base. Is it okay? And we know that sine theta is perpendicular by hypotenuse. That means P by H. What is your perpendicular? Perpendicular means, yeah, side opposite to angle C. That means AB. So AB divided by hypotenuse. What is hypotenuse? AC. Equal the value of AB. Yeah, 24 centimeter. Just write 24. Next one, AC, AC is 25. Next one, cos C. Cos C equals, cos theta is what? Base by hypotenuse. 
according to angle C what will be the base now yes BC so BC by hypotenuse AC what is the value of BC BC is 7 centimeter we will write 7 7 by AC 25 okay question number 2 in figure 8.14 find tan P minus cot R diagram is already given see triangle PQR of course it's written there PQ is 12 centimeter and PR is 13 centimeter according to this diagram QR is not given so let's find out that so for that first we'll write in triangle PQR we know that it's a right angle triangle so we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem the longest side square longest side is what according to this diagram the longest is PR so that will be the hypotenuse so PR square equals okay PQ PQ square plus QR square implies the value of PR what is the value of PR yes 13 centimeter of course just I am writing 13 all right 13 square equals PQ PQ is what 12 12 square plus QR square we'll find out and we know that 13 square means 13 into 13. 13, 13's are? Yes, 169. If you don't know means, please multiply. Equal 12 square, 12 into 12, 144. Yeah, 144 plus QR square. Next step, what you'll do? This 144 will carry from right to left. It's plus comes to next side minus that means 169 minus 144 equals qr square plus minus it so 169 minus 144 let's minus it 9 minus 4 5 6 minus 4 2 you got it now 25 that means 25 equals qr square therefore qr square equals 25 so if you want the value of qr qr equals square root of 25 because square goes next side square root so 25 means what yeah we got it before 5 5 is a 25 that means square root of 25 5 5 centimeter of course we got it now qr 5 5 centimeter let's see the value of tan p minus cot r therefore tan p minus cot r equals we know that tan means perpendicular by base perpendicular means what side opposite to yeah i'm just writing here side opposite to angle p divided by yes side adjacent to adjacent to angle P minus actually side opposite to angle P mean perpendicular by base minus cot R cot means what cot means base by perpendicular cot is base by perpendicular see tan theta equal perpendicular by base cot theta equals base by perpendicular ready so now cot r cot r means base base means what you'll write side adjacent to angle r very careful angle r before we got it angle p divided by side perpendicular perpendicular means side opposite to angle r let's see now side opposite to angle p side opposite to angle p opposite to angle p what is that yes q r divided by side adjacent to angle p side adjacent we know that the longest side is always 
hypotenuse. So its adjacent is adjacent to angle P. Yes, PQ. Ready? So PQ minus side adjacent to angle R nearby angle R adjacent. So which will be that? Yes. QR divided by side opposite to angle R side opposite to angle R that means PQ equals the value of QR according to the diagram QR how much we got 5 5 by PQ 12 minus QR QR you got it 5 divided by PQ yeah See the denominator downside is same that means denominators are same so the LCM is 12 upside will write 5 minus 5 minus 5 equals 5 minus 5 0 0 by 12 0 by any number you are going to get 0 is it okay that means 0 by any number like even 100 you are going to get 0 but any number divided by 0, what you will get? Yes, not defined. Very careful. Any number divided by 0 is not defined. Let's see the next question. Question number 3. If sin A equal 3 by 4, calculate cos A and tan A. Ready? So we have to make a triangle. I just draw that triangle ABC. After that, angle A. So this will be considering. And we know that the longest side is always called hypotenuse. Is it okay? After that, near to the angle means side adjacent to angle A. Side adjacent to angle A that is called base or adjacent side that is AB. And again, side opposite to angle A. Side opposite to angle A that is here BC. This will be perpendicular. Is it okay? Now, see what is given here. Given sin A equals 3 by 4. We know the value of sin. What is sin? Sin is perpendicular by, yes, perpendicular by hypotenuse. Equals 3 by 4. This implies. The value of perpendicular according to angle A. What is that? BC. So, BC by hypotenuse. Yes, see. Equals 3 by 4. This implies. We'll take now. BC equals 3K and C. BC equals 3K and AC. AC equals 4K. Okay. Now, what you'll do? Why we took K? K is a constant. Positive constant. Ready? Now. So, BC. We'll be writing BC as 3K. This will be 3K and AC as 4K. Now we will use Pythagoras theorem to find out the value of AB. Let's write now by Pythagoras theorem. The longest side that means AC square. AC square equals AB square plus yeah, BC square implies the value of AC. AC we got already 4K. That means we'll write 4K the whole square equals AB. We don't know the value. Just keep us AB square plus BC is what? 3K the whole square. So I'll write the balance here. That means square of 4. 4 4 is 16. 16 square of K. K square equals just write AB square plus square of 3, 3 square, 9, 9k square, 16k square, now what you will do, this 9k comes to next side, 9k square comes to next side, it will be minus, minus 9k square equals ab square, ready, 16k square minus 9k square, mean 16, yes, mango minus 9 mango, 16 minus 9, we will get 7k square equals ab square. Therefore, ab square equals 
seven k square. Therefore, a b equals square root of seven k square. Root seven, root of k square k. So you got it now. A b equals root seven k. Root seven k. Ready? We made it now. This value. Therefore, cos a equals. What is cos theta? Cos theta equals base by hypotenuse. What is the base? Base is a b. So a b by hypotenuse a c. What is the value of a b? Root seven k divided by a c four k. K k will cancel. You will get root seven by four. Next, tan a. Tan a equals tan theta is what? Yes, perpendicular by base. According to this diagram, perpendicular is b c. That means b c by base a b equals what is that? Three k by root seven k. So k k will cancel. You'll get three by root seven. Is it okay? Let's see the next question. Question number four. Given 15, cot A equals 8. Find sin A and sec A. We need to keep one triangle. The triangle ABC. After that, what is given here? Yeah, 15 cot A equals 8. Careful now. 15 cot A. 15 cot A means 15 into cot A multiplying. So, if you take multiplication the next side. Actually, 15 into cot a is 15 cot a. So if this 15 goes next side, it will divide because multiplication goes next side will divide. That means we'll write 8 divided by 15. Ready? Now we know that actually cot theta is what? Yes, base by perpendicular. Ready? According to this triangle, the base will be AB because adjacent side. And perpendicular will be BC, and of course hypotenuse will be AC. Ready? Now we'll write cot A. That is base by perpendicular. What is the base? AB. So AB by perpendicular BC equals eight by fifteen. That implies AB equals eight k and BC equals 15k, where k is a constant. Ready? Now we will use Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem, the longest side. What is that? AC. AC square equals AB square plus BC square. We don't know the value of AC. Just keep a c square equal. A b is what? A b we got it now. 8 k. So I'm writing here 8 k. Ready? And b c. What is b c? B c is 15 k. B c is 15 k. So we got it. A b in place of a b will write 8 k the whole square plus b c 15 k. Whole square. Now let's write eight eight is a sixty-four. K square plus fifteen K square. Fifteen square. Fifteen into fifteen, two twenty-five. Okay, so two twenty-five K square equals this two. We'll add it now. Ready? That means two twenty-five plus sixty-four. See what you'll get? Yes. We'll add it now. Five plus four. Nine, six plus two, eight two. That means we will get two eighty-nine. Ready? That means we got it now. Sixty-four and two twenty-five. We are adding. We got it two eighty-nine. That means two eighty-nine k square. A C square equal. Therefore, A C square equals. 289 k square. If you want AC, therefore AC equal. Otherwise, this implies AC equals square root of 289 k square. 289 is what? 17 square. Means 17 into 17 is. If you have doubt, 17 into 17. Please multiply and check it. 
Ready? That means you will get it. 17K. Okay. So we got it. AC equals 17K. So now we want to find out the value of sine A. That means therefore sine A equals sine means what? Yes. Perpendicular by hypotenuse. Perpendicular means BC. BC by AC. BC is what? We got it. 15K divided by 17K. KK will cancel. 15 by 17. Now the next CK. What is sec theta? Yes. Hypotenuse by base. According to this diagram, hypotenuse is AC. AC by base AB. AC means 17K divided by 8K. KK will cancel. 17 by 8. Let's see the next question. Question number 5. Given sec theta equal 13 by 12, calculate all other trigonometric functions. Calculate all other trigonometric functions. Let's see now. Of course, uh, we have to make a triangle ABC. After that, B is angle 90 degree. B is we have to draw a triangle ABC. After that, B will be 90 degree and this I am keeping as theta. Ready? We know that the longest side is called hypotenuse. Side adjacent to angle theta that will be the base and side opposite to angle theta that will be perpendicular. Let's start the work now. It's already given sec theta equals 13 by 12. Ready? Sec theta is 13 by 12. But we know that sec theta is yes. Hypotenuse by base. That is 13 by 12. What is hypotenuse according to the diagram? AC. That means AC by base AB equals 13 by 12. That implies the value of AC equals 13K and AB equals 12K. Where K is a constant. Now what you will do? By Pythagoras theorem. Longest side. What is that? AC square equals. Yeah. AB square plus. BC square. So what is the value of AC? AC we got it. 13K. 13k and we got it AB, AB as 12k. Ready? That means we will put the value here. So AC is 13k, 13k the whole square equals AB is 12k. The whole square plus BC square. Now what is 13? 13 square. 13, 13 is a 169. 169k square equals, yeah, 12 square. 12 square means 144. So, 144k square plus BC square. Now, this 144k square is plus, goes to next side, it will minus. That means 169k square minus. 144k square equals bc square. We will minus it. Ready? Let us see now. 169 minus 144. 9 minus 4, 5. 6 minus 4, 2. We got it now. 25k square equals bc square. Therefore, bc square equals 25k square. So, if you want bc, what will do? Square root of yeah, square root of 25k square. Square root of 25, 5, 5 is a 25. That means square root of 25, 5, 5k. Square root of k square is k. We got it now, bc, 5k.
Okay. Let's find out all of the trigonometry functions. That means first we'll find out sine theta equals perpendicular by yes hypotenuse equals perpendicular is what according to this diagram perpendicular is BC by hypotenuse AC equals 5k by 13k kk will cancel we'll get 5 by 13 that is sine now we will find out cosec cosec theta is inverse of sine that means hypotenuse by perpendicular hypotenuse ac by bc ac is we got it already 13k by 5k kk will cancel 13 by 5 we got it now sig theta equal 13 by 5 next one cos theta cos theta is yes base by hypotenuse base is what here yeah ab ab by hypotenuse ac equals 12k by the value of ab 12k divided by ac 13k kk will cancel we will get 12 by 30 next one yeah we will take the inverse that means sec theta equals hypotenuse by base it's already there actually but just we are doing that means ac by ab equals yeah what is the value of ac 13k 13k by ab 12k k k will cancel 13 by 12 second last tan theta equals perpendicular by base perpendicular by base what is perpendicular according to the diagram yeah bc by base ab that means you will get 5k divided by 12k both kk will cancel we'll get 5 by 12 so next cot theta equals base by perpendicular what is the value of base ab ab by perpendicular bc means we'll get 12k by 5k kk will cancel we'll get yeah 12 by 5 question number six if angle a and angle b are acute angles such that cos a equal cos b then show that angle a equals angle b angle a equals angle b of course we have to keep on triangle a b c and we have to make sure that angle c will be 90 degree because they're given in the question a and b are the acute angle acute means what below 90 degree ready ready so angle a and b are the acute angle that means below 90 degree let's see now so given cos a equals cos b and we know that what is cos theta cos theta is yes base by hypotenuse base mean side adjacent to angle a divided by hypotenuse Side adjacent to angle A mean that is base, base by hypotenuse. Because of A and B, I am keeping this way. What is that? Side adjacent to angle A, that is called base, equals, again, we know that cos theta is base by hypotenuse. Base means what? Side adjacent to angle B divided by hypotenuse. Now, side adjacent to angle A. According to this diagram, what is side adjacent to angle A? Yes. What is that? Yes, C. Divided by hypotenuse is always the longest side. That is AB. Equals side adjacent to angle B. That is the base. Side adjacent to angle B. What is that? BC. BC by hypotenuse AB. That means you see both sides, AB, AB will cancel. That implies AC equals BC. AC equals BC means, see, AC and BC are equal. 
AC and BC are equal. That means two sides are equal in the case of a triangle. That means this triangle is called isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means what? Two angles are equal. See my dears, we got it AC equals BC. That means two sides are equal. If two sides are equal, we call it as isosceles triangle. That implies triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Oh. Angle A equals angle B. If two sides are equal, that is called isosceles triangle. In the case of isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. That means if two sides are equal, two angle supposed to be equal. Ready? Let's see the next question. Question number 7. If cot theta equals 7 by 8, evaluate first 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. Second cot square theta. Need to keep on triangle ABC. And we know that the longer side is called hypotenuse. Angle I took as A. Then it's nearby this is the base and this will be the BC will be the perpendicular. Is it okay? Now what is given here? Let's see given. Given cot theta equals 7 by 8. But we know that cot theta means yes base by perpendicular equals 7 by 8. What is base according to this diagram? AB. AB by perpendicular is BC equals 7 by 8. This implies AB equals 7 K and BC equals 8. Let's put the values AB 7 K and BC will be 8 K. Now we have to use Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem longer side square that means AC square equals AB square plus yeah AB square plus BC square. What is the value of AC? AC means we don't know actually we need to find out. So AC square equals AB. What is AB? 7K the whole square plus BC 8K the whole square. 7 square. 7 7 is up. Yes. 49 k square plus square of 8 8 8 is a 64 k square ready now we will add it this 49 plus 64 ready 9 plus 4 13 1 in hand 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 1 11 so we got it now 113 k square Ready? Therefore, AC equals square root of 113 K square equals square root of 113 K because 113 is not perfect square number. So, just keep in root inside. That means root of 113 K. Ready? So, we got it now. Root 113 K. So, let's take now the first one. 1 plus sin theta into 1 minus sin theta divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus cos theta. This one we can make it a little simple actually a plus b a minus b. This is a plus b a minus b. a plus b into a minus b. Let's see the next formula. a plus b into a minus b. What is a plus b into a minus b? Yes. a square minus b square. Careful. a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. So this is a plus b a minus b. Here a is 1, b is sign. Ready? So a square means 1 square. I'm just writing 1 square. Minus b square. b square means the second one square. What is that? Sign. So sin square theta 
divided by this is a plus b a minus b then in a square 1 square minus b square sine square this same way denominator a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square a square is 1 square minus b square is cos square theta equals square of 1 1 so 1 minus the value of sine sine theta sine means what yes perpendicular by hypotenuse the whole square divided by 1 minus see cos square theta cos theta is yes base by hypotenuse so we will write base by hypotenuse the whole square why square because cos square theta ready now this equals 1 minus perpendicular the value of perpendicular if you want you can write bc otherwise direct 8k anyway let me write bc bc by hypotenuse sc the whole square divided by 1 minus c base ab ab by sc the whole square equals 1 minus what is the value of bc c 8k so 8k divided by hypotenuse root 113k the whole square divided by see now 1 minus ab 1 minus what is the value of ab 7k 7k divided by the value of ac root 113k the whole square equals 1 minus square of 8 8 8 is a of course before that let us cancel k ready square of 8 8 8 is a 64 divided by square of root 113 square of root 113 means you will get only 113 I will show you the example root 7 the whole square what you will write square root will cancel 7 otherwise root 5 the whole square we will get 5 same way root 113 square what you will get 113 113 divided by 1 minus square of 7 7 7 is a 49 divided by 113 because root of 113 square square and root will cancel we will get 113 equals let's go for the lcm divided by see i'm taking the common denominator 113 113 now we have to multiply this way that means 1 into 113 so 113 minus see my dears we are multiplying this two 1 into 113 that is our 113 minus 64 denominator we will take the LCM 113, we will multiply this way, so 1 into 113, 113 minus 49, we will write, ready, now both numerator and denominator 113 will cancel, ready, next 113 minus 64 divided by 113 minus 49, let's minus both, first one, 113 minus 64 well what you'll do you can't take 4 from 3 so you have to borrow from here then this becomes 0 and this becomes 13 ready that means 13 minus 4 9 here is 0 but you have to carry from next then here becomes 0 and this becomes 10 so 10 minus 6 yeah you will get 4 so we got it 49 that means this part first you got a 49 divided by next one what you do 113 minus 49 we can't take 9 from 3 so we'll carry from next then this become 13 13 minus 9 4 here become 10 so 10 minus 4 means 6 so we got it 64 so the answer is 49 by 64 second part cot square theta equal cot means what yes base by perpendicular the whole square what is the value of base what is base ab so ab by perpendicular 
BC the whole square equals the value of AB yeah 7k divided by perpendicular BC 8k the whole square KK will cancel we got it square of 7 49 square of 8 8 8 is a 64 let's see the next question question number 8 if 3 cot A equal 4 check whether 1 minus tan square A by 1 plus tan square A equals cos square A minus sin square A or not let's see now first we'll write what is given what is given 3 cot A equals 4 3 cot A means 3 multiplying to cot A ready that means if you want cot A equals this multiplication goes next side will divide that means 3 4 divided by 3 this implies and we know that cot theta is base by perpendicular equals 4 by 3 let's see the diagram now triangle ABC we know that the longer side is hypotenuse nearby is base and opposite is perpendicular now base what is base here AB that implies AB by perpendicular BC equals 4 by 3 that implies AB equals 4k and BC equals 3k ready so AB equals 4k BC equals 3k now we want to find out the value of AC to find out AC what you will use Pythagoras here therefore by Pythagoras theorem AC square equals AB square plus BC square equals the value of AB yeah 4k square plus BC 3k the whole square equals square of 4 4 4 is a 16 16k square plus square of 3 3 3 is a 9 9k square so 16 plus 9 25k square that means you got it now the value of AC square is 25k square therefore AC equals square root of 25k square equals square root of 25 5 square root of k square k that means you got it now ac equals 5k let's see the question now we have to check it whether 1 minus tan square by 1 plus tan square equals cos square a minus sin square a or not ready so let's take the lhs lhs equals 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a equals 1 minus what is the value of tan tan is perpendicular by base according to this diagram perpendicular is bc by base ab the whole square divided by 1 plus what is the value of tan tan means perpendicular by base perpendicular is bc by base ab the whole square equals ready 1 minus what is the value of bc yeah 3k by ab 4k the whole square divided by 1 plus what is the value of bc 3k by ab 4k what you'll do now k k will cancel k k will cancel balance 1 minus square of 3 3 3 is a 9 square of 4 4 4 is a 16 divided by 1 plus square of 3 3 3 is a 9 square of 4 4 4 is a 16 equals now we'll go for the numerator itself lcm ready the lcm is 16 now we will multiply 16 to 1 so 16 ones are 
16 minus 9. Now see, in this denominator, we will take the LCM. What is the denominator LCM? 16. Now, this 16, you have to multiply here. So, 1 into 16. 16 plus 9. Now, what you will do? Yes. Both numerator and denominator, 16, 16 will cancel. Balance is 16 minus 9. 16 minus 9 means, what is that? 16 minus 9. Yes, 7. 7 by 16 plus 9, 25. So we got it the LHS now, 7 by 25. Let's see the RHS now. Ready? So RHS equals cos square A minus sin square A. What is cos? Base by hypotenuse. Co base means according to this diagram, base is AB. So AB by hypotenuse is C. The whole square minus sin. Sin is perpendicular by hypotenuse. Perpendicular is what? According to this diagram, perpendicular is BC. So BC by hypotenuse AC, the whole square equals the value of AB. What is that? Yeah. 4K divided by AC 5K. The whole square minus. Next, BC. The value of BC, 3K. 3K by AC, yeah, 5K. The whole square. Now, both numerator and denominator, KK will cancel. Here, we'll cancel KK. Then, the balance. Square of 4, 4, 4 is a 16 by square of 5, 5, 5 is a 25. Minus square of 3, 3, 3 is a 9. Square of 5, 25. See, the denominators are same. Denominators are same means LCM is 25. Now, the balance, 16 minus 9. 16 minus 9 equals 7 by 25. See now, we got it before. LHS, 7 by 25. Now, we got RHS equals 7 by 25. That means, therefore, LHS equals RHS. See the next question. Question number 9. In triangle ABC, right angle at B. If tan A equals 1 by root 3, find the value of sin A cos C plus cos A sin C and cos A cos C minus sin A sin C. Let's see now. What is given here? Yeah, given we'll write first. That is tan A equals 1 by root 3. Tan A. We know that tan theta or tan is perpendicular by base. Perpendicular according to this diagram, perpendicular for angle A. What will be that? BC. For angle A, the perpendicular is BC. That means BC by base. According to angle A, base will be AB. AB equals 1 by root 3. That implies BC equals 1K and AB equals root 3K where K is a constant. Ready? Now, see we got it now AB root 3K and BC we got it 1K. Let's find out the hypotenuse by Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem, AC square equals AB square plus BC square equals AB. We got it the value of AB root 3K the whole square plus BC 1K the whole square. Square of root 3, square of root 3, 3, square of root 7, 7, square of root 5, 5. That means square of root 3, 3. So, 3k square plus 1k square. Square of 1, 1. So, 1k square. Now, see, 3 plus, now see, 3 plus 1. 
yes 4 4 k square therefore ac square equals 4 k square therefore ac equals square root of 4 k square square root of 4 2 2 are 4 that means 2 k so we got it the value of ac 2 k ready as first sine cos c plus cos a sine c equals sine a sin means what perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular means side opposite to angles a so side opposite to angle a divided by hypotenuse into cos a cos means yes base by hypotenuse base is what base means side adjacent to side adjacent to angle c divided by hypotenuse plus cos a cos means base by hypotenuse base means side adjacent to side adjacent to angle angle a divided by hypotenuse into sin c sin means perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular is what side opposite to side opposite to angle c divided by hypotenuse equals side opposite to angle a side opposite to angle a means bc so bc by hypotenuse ac into side adjacent to angle c side adjacent to angle c means yeah angle c adjacent what is that bc bc by hypotenuse is ac plus side adjacent to angle a side adjacent to angle a what is that ab ab by hypotenuse ac into now the next one side opposite to angle c side opposite to angle c means yes ab ab by hypotenuse yes c now the value of bc 1k into 1k divided by ac 2k 2k into 2k plus ab ab is root 3k into again ab what is that root 3k divided by ac into ac ac means what 2k 2k into 2k both numerator and denominator kk will cancel kk kk we got it 1 into 1 1 2 into 2 4 plus root 3 into root 3 root 3 into root 3 3 by 2 into 2 4 see my dears root 2 into root 2 will get 2 or root 5 into root 5 will get 5 same way we got root 3 into root 3 3 got it now we'll take the lcm so what will be the lcm 4 numerator will be same that means 1 plus 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 is 4 by 4 we'll cancel by 4 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 the answer is 1 by 1 equals 1 ready let's see the second part what is that cos a cos c minus sin a sin c equals what is the value of cos cos means base by hypotenuse what is base here according to this yes base means side adjacent to yeah side adjacent to angle a divided by hypotenuse hypotenuse into cos c cos c means what cos means base base by hypotenuse base means what side adjacent to adjacent to angle c divided by hypotenuse minus sin a sin means what perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular means what side opposite to ready that means we'll write side opposite to angle a divided by hypotenuse 
into the next will be yeah sine sine means what you'll do side opposite to angle c divided by happiness you should write straight ready this equals side adjacent to angle a what is that adjacent to angle a a b that means a b by hypotenuse is c into side adjacent to angle c what is that b c b c by a c minus side opposite to angle a opposite to angle a what is that b c b c by hypotenuse a c into side opposite to angle c side opposite to angle c what is that a b so a b by a c let's put the values here the value of a b root 3 k by a c 2 k into b c 1 k divided by a c 2 k minus minus is here b c b c is 1 k by what is the value of a c 2 k into a b a b is root 3 k by a c 2 k k k will cancel k k will cancel k k will cancel k k will cancel we'll get root 3 into 1 root 3 into 1 root 3 by 2 into 2 4 minus root 3 into 1 into root 3 root 3 by 2 into 2 4 see the denominators are same that means we'll take 4 as a lcm then root 3 minus root 3 root 3 minus root 3 the same value if you minus you'll get 0 that means 0 by 4 0 by 4 is 0 okay let's see the next question question number 10 in triangle pqr right angle at q pr plus qr equal 25 centimeter and pq equal 5 centimeter determine the value of sin p cos p and tan p given pq equals 5 centimeter ready that means we will take this one 5 centimeter and after that they given pr plus qr equal 25 so we are taking suppose pr equals x that means let pr equals x now let's check it given what is given pr plus qr equals 25 so now if you want to find out qr what you'll do qr equals 25 minus pr pr will go to next side that means minus pr equals 25 minus what is the value of pr x that means we got it now qr equals 25 minus x ready so qr we got it 25 minus x according to this diagram this will be the base this will be perpendicular this is always hypotenuse ready now let's use pythagoras theorem therefore by pythagoras theorem the longest side what is that pr square equals pq square plus qr square ready implies the value of pr we took as x that means x square equals pq 5 square plus qr qr means we took 25 minus x 25 minus x the whole square x square equals square of 5 25 plus this is a minus b the whole square a minus b the whole square what is that a minus b the whole square equals a square plus b square minus 2ab you need to add this what is that a minus b the whole square equals a square plus b square minus 2ab so we will apply that here 
the value of a is 25 base x ready that means a square that is 25 square plus b square means what x square minus 2ab so 2 into a is what 25 into b x see this part we got it now a minus b the whole square that is a square 25 square plus b square that is x square minus 2 into a into b implies x square equals 25 plus 25 square 25 into 25 625 multiply and do it okay so 25 square is 625 plus x square minus 225 50 x now both side x square plus plus will cancel because if you carry x square to this side it will become minus that means x square minus x square zero that means you got it now zero equals 25 plus 625 minus 50x ready now 625 plus 25 see zero equals 625 plus 25 650 650 minus 50x next step minus 50 will carry to left side minus comes to next side plus that means 50x equals 650 ready therefore x equals 650 and 50x means what multiplying so this multiplication goes next side divide that is divided by 50 ready now both numerator and denominator 0 0 will cancel now upside and downside means numerator and denominator will cancel by 5 so we'll cancel by 5 5 ones are 5 ready here we are going to cancel by 5 5 ones are 5 from 6 if you take 5 balance will be 1 1 means 15 5 threes are 15 so we got it therefore x equals 13 ready so we got it now the value of pr how much is that 13 but we know that qr equals what is the value of qr yes qr equals 25 minus x 25 minus x equals 25 minus the value of x 13 we got it now equals 25 minus 13 12 ready that means we got it now qr is 12 ready so qr we got it 25 let's see the answer now sin p therefore sin p equals sin theta is what yeah perpendicular by hypotenuse perpendicular according to this diagram qr qr by hypotenuse pr equals 12 by 13 now the next one cos p cos p means base by hypotenuse base is what base is p q by hypotenuse pr equals 5 by 13 and the last one tan p tan p equals perpendicular by base perpendicular by base means yeah perpendicular is qr divided by base pq equals 12 by 5 this is okay see the next question question number 11 state whether the following are true or false and justify your answer the first one the value of tan a is always less than 1 let's see the question the value of tan a is always less than 1 i'll read the answer actually the answer is false because we know that tan is the ratio of other two sides it never comes the bigger side means what it will not be joining with hypotenuse that means we'll get false since a tangent of an angle is the ratio of sides other than hypotenuse which may be equal or unequal to each other ready see the next question seek a equals 12 by 5 
for some values of angle A? Answer. True. The reason? Cos A is always less than 1. Because we know that C K is the inverse of cos. That means 1 by cos is C. K. So 1 by cos is C K A will always be greater than 1. Third one. Cos A is the abbreviation used for cosecant of angle A. Yes. True or false? False. Because we know that cosine is the abbreviation of cos. Now fourth. Cot A is the product of cot and A. We know that is false. The reason? Because cot A is the angle of A and if you keep cot A separate means if you keep cot A alone there is no value or no meaning. Ready? Next one. 5. Sin theta equal 4 by 3 for some angle theta. We know that answer is false because we know that sine is always below 1. Ready? Since, I will read the answer once. False. Since 4 by 3 is greater than 1 and we know that sine theta always equal to 1 otherwise below 1. Okay.